How many of these fancy productivity methods have let you down completely? And what if I told you there's a few secret ingredients you need to fix this? permanently. What I'm talking about is the ability to personalize your focus habits. So what we thought we'd do is build a couple of DIY tools that you have access to and you can make yourself to be able to transform the way you focus forever. And not to mention that we've actually looked into some of the most research backed ways that you can actually stay focused, meaning that once you build these tools, you can leave this video with a set of different assets that will keep you locked in for the rest of the year. Take it from me that when you actually build your own tool, you're much more likely to use it more consistently given the sense of reward that comes with doing so. Something you'll notice about the tools we're going to build today is that they're going to be removed from social and internet devices. And the reason for doing this is because I feel like when you mix the two together, you're much more likely to get distracted by social media. Now, I'm not saying we're not going to have to use the internet at all for these. We're still going to need to connect one or two of these devices to Wi-Fi. But the idea that we don't have to go through a social media platform or something that can distract huh? us in the process is how we're going to remove that physical barrier or that mental barrier rather, which I learned from the book Atomic Habits. And to be honest, I still struggle to implement removing barriers from my habits today. So I look at social media as initially being very dopaminergic, driving reward, surprise and excitement but very quickly transition to something more like OCD. So let's begin to solve that problem by building our first tool. Two primary methods stand out, blocking distractions and the Pomodoro technique. Now first with blocking distraction, research has shown that when you block social media and other distractions out of your workspace, it can significantly increase your focus. Participants in these studies reported increased levels of concentrated immersion when distractions were reduced, allowing them to get rid of mental blocks and focus more on their work. In one study, dumping irrelevant online content led to increased levels in productivity, allowing participants to note an increased level of concentration whilst having the ability to be able to engage more with the task at hand. However, as a consequence of this, people were finding that they were working longer time blocks without actually having any physical breaks. And this is where the Pomodoro, which is Italian for tomato technique, comes into play. Now this technique is actually really simple because what it requires you to do is eat a tomato, which then allows you to go into full focus for 300 hours. So let's give it a go. All right, what it actually is, is a technique that was developed in the 1980s, which involved working in 25 minute sprints. What would then precede these sprints is a five minute break, which allowed users to have some downtime. Now, although it was some short downtime, it's been proven to actually increase mental focus, as well as maintaining concentration by allowing for time blocks that have some structure and order to them. And this time block was also found to be healthy for minimizing internal and external interruptions. But how do we actually take these techniques and transform them into a tangible tool which can actually help me to reduce distractions and increase my focus. Now, like many people, my biggest distraction is this thing right here, my mobile phone. So what I'm thinking is having somewhere where I can place this phone while the 25 minute time interval starts. And as obvious as that sounds, we're gonna start with a timer. So I opened Fusion 360 and started with a base. I then modeled in my phone so I could get an accurate size for my stand. After that, I added in these structural supports and ensured they were strong enough to take the weight of my phone. I also hit two birds with one stone by making one of the supports also a conduit for my photoresistor to go through, that way we can seal all the electrical wiring. On the front of the base, I added in a cutout so we could easily slot in our timer. I then loaded up my 3D printer with some marble filament. After a lengthy print, we were well rested enough to go and smash out the electronics using my timer, photoresistor, button, and of course, the Arduino. And now this is the part where I be quiet and you can just watch the build come together. Now here's how it works. When you place your phone on the stand, the photoresistor detects its presence and starts a countdown timer automatically. This setup is perfect for a Pomodoro or any time focus session, keeping you accountable and in the zone without the temptation of a digital distraction, unless you want the self guilt of seeing the timer stop. The idea is simple yet innovative. We're blending minimalistic design with practical technology to keep distractions at bay and focus front and center. 
Now, if you think that you could implement the Pomodoro technique in a different way in a physical build, let us know in the comments below how you might do that. Now let's touch on a different category that's vital to ensuring maximal productivity and focus. And while most content creators who focus on productivity and focus might talk about this, goal setting and focusing on one goal at a time is much more important than you think. And the reason for that is because a lot of us are guilty for what is called task overloading, which is simply juggling way too many things at once. Now, studies have shown that when we are juggling multiple tasks at once, that can actually in turn decrease our productivity and output and increase the time it takes to actually complete something that you're working on. And I was reading this article that dates all the way back to 1980 and what I found that simply focusing on one task at a time Time can actually transform the way that you approach a task and engage and focus. So by taking that concept, we can transform it into another desk gadget that can allow us to focus on that one task at a time. But the main thing I wanna do is build something fun and engaging so you don't feel like you're being forced while also holding yourself accountable for what you should be working on. Now, something I really enjoy doing outside of engineering dad's work is 3D printing space related stuff. For example, this rocket and a couple of other space figurines I've got in the back Heck, I've even got a space theme engineering dad shirt. Now taking this rocket that I designed, I'm gonna go back into my 3D software and incorporate a screen into it so I can show the one task that I'm working on at a time. All I'm gonna do is go into this model I've previously created and design a holder for the LCD screen. I designed in a few bolt holes for the front cover so I can access the screen if I ever need to do any maintenance on the electronics. I then sent this to my 3D printer to be printed in the same color as the one I showed earlier. And as per usual, let's get into the build. And then I plugged it into my Raspberry Pi and tested that all was working with this simple date code. And thanks to the Notion Calendar API, all I need to do is schedule a task in my calendar and lock it in for deep work, which I can now use with my Pomodoro timer. Now, I believe this little fun gadget enhances engagement and also creates efficient workflows. By integrating a physical reminder with a digital task management system, we address both productivity and motivation. To me, making this little fun gadget was all about having an efficient task flow while also enhancing how engaged we are with what we're doing. So if you're ready to launch into your goals, drop a comment below about what sort of tasks you would have coming up on your rocket or any other device which would touch on your interest. Now, because productivity and mental well-being are actually two topics that I'm very passionate about outside of my engineering work, all of the STLs and coding will be free for you to access and use so you can make some small tweaks to develop something that might work a little bit better for you. Because even though we might almost be halfway through 2025, which might sound daunting to some, that doesn't mean all your resolutions have to go out the window. There is still hope to revive your productivity. So if you do go away and build any of these, be sure to let us know in the comments what you built, what you changed, and if it actually had a profound effect on your ability to stay on task. Now, if you missed our video on the top five tools you can use as an engineer, be sure to check it out here as we kind of touched on how AI can be your companion when it comes to completing work or any project or DIY tasks that you're working on and help you complete it in a timely manner. Now that's all for today guys and before you go and enjoy your well-deserved break please be sure to hit that subscribe notification button as it goes a long way for us being able to get more of these projects out for you more of these educational research videos out for you making sure you're well equipped with knowledge of how to improve your productivity or just some random knowledge you never thought you needed but somehow you've sparked up an interesting conversation around the dinner table. Catch you in the next one.